This is the Apogee Instruments SQ420X. This is a USB PAR meter. This uh, will help me measure the PAR values in my reef tank. I've never done this before. I did purchase this uh, just to know what my values are and to help me better get uh, you know, the light the corals need to make sure I'm doing that. I spend a lot of money in this hobby uh, getting lights and buying corals and doing that kind of stuff. So. Uh, all things considered, this guy is $234, I think. I bought this off Amazon. Uh, it's worth it. I've got way more than that in corals itself. So they do make a stick that you can buy with this, a holder, a wand, whatever they want to call it. I did not buy that. This is a do-it-yourself wand. I bought a waterproof GoPro selfie stick off Amazon. And I brought a little GoPro swivel mount i'm not even sure what they call this and then i bought a number 1032 uh, screw that goes into the bottom that's the size that goes into this bottom of the sensor itself so this is the sensor with the cap on so i can take the cap off there's the eye itself uh, that you can see there uh, and that's pretty much it so this whole wand here cost me about with the wand, I think it was like $18. I'll put the links in the bottom in the description below. But it was like $35 for everything. And that's including me buying screws that you could probably get way cheaper uh, somewhere else. So, yeah, $35 versus the $70 for that. I'll consider half the price a good deal. Uh, and I've heard it, the one for $70 is not that great. So, I'm very happy with this one. It actually goes expands out i don't have it here just because i'm trying to keep it shorter uh, but you can see how this is wrapped up this actually goes out to i think 30 some odd inches maybe 36 inches which is plenty my tank is 30 inches deep so it's plenty for me to reach the bottom i've already had it in the tank and i'll show you guys some of that as well but yeah here you go so usb hooks up that's the sensor itself that i'm using uh, and then the program is very simple straightforward uh, you can see this is the value that I'm currently getting in my workshop here. Uh, I can take this, put my hand over it, right, make it dark. It goes away. I can also do data logging. I'm uh, not sure this will be super useful, but I don't know, maybe for somebody doing something long term, I guess. Uh, I've already logged some things, so we'll just log some values. But yeah, you can just see it just takes a value. You can set it up to do different intervals, uh, whatever you want, but yeah, pretty straightforward. So next we'll be looking at the aquarium itself, uh, and I'll basically chart out my PAR values for, I'll call it ramp up and then peak, and then the ramp down's the same, so uh, I'll probably just hit those two points and try to do, uh, I'll say a top, middle, and bottom, and then left, middle, and right side of my tank. Uh, with this meter itself and then i'll map that out and let you guys uh, see how it goes